So the big question is this, how do most agents who struggle to get the information that most successful agents hoard to themselves grow and prosper without this information? That's the big question and this video cast is the answer. Welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. I'm your host, Pat Hyben. Okay, Rockstar Nation, I got a fun uh, guest for you here today. Mr. Vinny Chopra is back on the show. There was, there was a couple of questions I got on Facebook and things about uh, investing in <clears throat> big things with uh, people's clients and um, uh, big things like syndicated apartment buildings, commercial properties, uh, things like that. And I said, well, let me get Vinny back on. Vinny Chopra has been on the show two times now. He was Last episode was about 200 episodes, 659. Before that, he came on at 439. And um, so, um, so I'm excited to have him back. And um, so, uh, you know, without further ado, Vinny Chopra, welcome back to Real Estate Rockstars. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. It's such a pleasure to be back again with you third time. I know I was very tickled when you also put me into your uh, special 12 uh, what was that? The magnets, uh, real estate, uh, rock stars. Uh, remember, you had a special rendition with twelve different speakers in USA. Yeah, I don't know. It, it might have been the, the top ten or something of last year. Yeah, top uh, ten or top twelve. Thank top you. Top ten. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations yeah. <laughs> on that. Yeah, and that's why we wanted to bring you back because everybody liked you and you got a lot of downloads and. and uh, I guess you have a big audience too, so you shared it with everyone. Totally, totally. You know, thank you so much. I've been, I think, interviewed now 60 times Whoa. on different podcasters' uh, shows in USA and uh, just enjoying it. <laughs> so real quick, uh, in case they missed some of your prior episodes, uh, why don't you tell everybody about you? Oh, sure, Pat. You know, I came from India with $7 and a mechanical engineer in the land of opportunities here in USA and went to George Washington University, sold Bibles and encyclopedias, cut my teeth in sales, by the way. So I'm a salesperson at heart, just like your audience, I'm telling you. I learned the commitment, the hard work, the discipline, accept, accepting rejection, all that. I became a sales consultant and a motivational speaker for over 35 years, started investing in single family homes lots of them all over USA. Then I found out, you know what? Single family home investment was not giving me the cash flow that I wanted. And that's when I got into multifamily, Pat. And it's been 12 years now. I'm a broker myself, real estate broker in San Francisco area. And I have done 26 syndications. I'm on the 27th syndication now. I just want to kind of relate to your audience where they are and where I was. I just felt like I want to invest in some big things. And that's what we'll talk about hopefully today, how their clients, your audience clients, are gold mine, not only to buy the single family home pack, but also invest with your audience. Yeah. So, um, Vinny, here's what I wanted to ask you. Um, so, um, you know, a lot of people have come on this show and talked about how to invest in, in single families, duplexes, whatever, um, how to work with investors and that sort of thing. But I got a question uh, that came to me on social media, which is about, is there, is there any way that agents can make money, right? Referring, and, and the answer to this is no, but you have a solution. And, and the, is there any way, no, it, can an, I guess the question was, can an agent make a commission by, um, by, putting money in a syndication and what a syndication is guys in case you don't know is basically where a whole bunch of investors pull their money and buy an apartment building or buy a shopping center or buy something else and uh, what's happening is you, you know sell uh, buyers in the market instead of going out and buying a single family home and renting it out are saying man that's too much stress that's too much work 
you know, but I want in on the real estate game and out of the stock market. So they're taking their retirement funds and they're putting them into the syndications uh, with other investors, which are kind of like turnkey and real easy to do. And so this one listener was like, Pat, have you ever had anybody on that pays commissions so that if I give, if I tell one of my clients to get in on one of Vinnie Chopra's apartment deals, and he's done 26 of them, or anybody's deals mm -hmm. that, that have been on your show, is there a way to get mm -hmm. a commission on that? And so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and let you answer that question, Vinny. I would love to, Pat. As a matter of fact, I'm so glad you're saying that. I was given that question about eight years back. I've been in this business about 12 years, Pat, and my syndication attorney, the guru, the father of syndication in USA, you know, Mr. Gene Trowbridge, I would love to promote him. He's a great guy and Kim Taylor. They said, Vinnie, SEC ruling says nobody can give any commission to any person for raising money. That's how the language is. You have to be a broker dealer to get paid for commission. So you got to be a broker dealer, like a stock broker. Or something, yeah. Like you're saying. So right, it's illegal right. for anybody to pay a commission to a yes. real estate agent, even though they're referring or bringing someone in to a, a, a piece of real estate. Correct. Now, mind you, most of the time, these, this real estate may not even be in your, in, in your state where you're licensed. Right. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter, right? The answer not is no. Talk. Not at all. So they shared with me. They said, Vinny, this is a great question. And we have the greatest answer on the earth. I said, really? Oh, my gosh. Tell me about it. So they said, it's very easy how to get other people to refer their family, friends, people, their clients into your business all you do is just make the LLC that acquires the multifamily or commercial property. That's the LLC. But then you make a manager LLC on the top of it. Manager LLC owns the 30% or the 40% stake as class B share. But the investors come into the class A, into the property LLC which could be 70%, let's assume, for an example, then 30% is owned by the manager LLC. In the manager LLC, I could have partners come with me and legally pay them. Legally, that's the word. Legally pay them for bringing their investors into the offering, into the offering. All they will do is they'll represent me then and we'll put together a beautiful brochure for them their name, their logos, all the studies, all my track record will be used by anybody in your audience who would like to partner with me, we call it. They would be able to show the brochure and the PowerPoint to their clientele. And if they would like to invest, they will invest into the undertaking and they will get paid equity share. It's called equity share, cash flow, acquisitions part, and the equity gain. So they get paid three times, not one commission one time. They get okay. paid three times. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm going to slow this down, Vinny, okay. because I think you're probably confused a lot of people. So, so let's say there's an agent out of Tupelo, Mississippi. His name is Lumpy Rutherford, and Lumpy's listening to this, and he's like, man, how do I do this? So I'm going to answer this, and then I want you to tell me if I'm t saying this right. So, so what Lumpy does is he goes ahead and creates a, an LLC called Lumpy LLC. Then he says to people that he knows, his past client list, let's say he's got a thousand people on his past client list, he says, hey, you know, I know a lot of you guys might want to get into the real estate game. And if you don't want to have the burden or be called in the middle of the night to fix a toilet or deal with vacancies or I probably shouldn't say that because it could be vacancies in the apartments. But if you don't want to deal with a... Um, you know, owning one investment at a time, I have an opportunity. I'm creating an LLC um, that is called Lumpy LLC, and I'm going to own 30% of this Lumpy LLC just for setting it up and getting the investors. Then the investors come in and let's say he raises a million dollars, right? Or let's say he raises a half a million dollars, whatever. Um, he gets 100000 from five people. Right. 
um, and he gets a half a million dollars. And then of that, of that half a million dollars, which the LLC contributes to Vinny's project, he owns, Lumpy owns 30% of that LLC for doing all the work, right? The management and the work. Then the investors split up the other 70%, five ways, which is roughly 140 each, right? So it is 140 each. So the investors um, have 14% each, and then uh, Lumpy has 30% each, and um, they invest half a million dollars in one of Vinny's projects. And then, and they, and they obviously they're not getting commission, but they get 30% of the LLC's equity, you know? Um, and then as the price goes up on the apartment buildings, as distributions are made on that half a million dollar investment, they get 30% and then they give 70% back to the five people that they collected a hundred grand each from. Am, am I saying this right? Okay, Pat, uh, two things. Definitely the, uh, let's say a broker or a real estate agent who has thousand, uh, you know, uh, database, they could do their own syndication. You don't have to be a broker or a broker dealer or anything. They could do a syndication where they can have the investors come into that LLC that they form, but they will have to do a PPM private placement memorandum and the offering and everything. I have, couple of, well, three, four people I know who do that kind of thing. But the better way to do that, if I may say that. Yeah, because I was going to say that's too confusing and it probably can confusing. scare people very away. Confusing. Oh, I got to hire a lawyer. Yeah, a lot of work, a lot of work. I have a simpler solution, Pat. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's understand. So the simpler solution is that since I have put money, like 15000 or 20000 to do the syndication packet already, in the LLC, that is going to be the property LLC, we call it, or fund, let's say fund. Then their investors can come into the fund. They don't have to do the PPM, but I'll have a joint venture with the realtor or the broker, right, who brought these people. They will get their share from the manager LLC. So in other words, their investors stay theirs for life, they will be their investor relations manager, blah, blah, everything. And I'll have a non-circumvent, non-disclosure form filled out with your realtors or brokers who want to bring their friends into the LLC. All right, guys, why waste thousands of dollars and countless hours on training that never touches on what matters most? how to make more money in real estate. For just $7, you can start a one week trial at Rebus University today. And what that means is $13,000 worth of real estate courses on how to make more commissions will be available to you for a dollar a day. It's all you can eat. Go in there and take them all if you can. Only seven bucks. To start your seven day all access free trial, go to futureofrealestatetraining.com. These courses are guaranteed to get you more listings, more leads, and more commissions. Futureofrealestatetraining.com or just text the word trial to 444 999. That's T R I A L to 444 999. So their investors stay theirs for life. Oh, but so, okay. So let me, so, so I think what you're saying, Vinny is so, yeah. so Vinny, right? Monell Investments. Yes. Does a 70, 30 split with their investors. Correct. Right? Correct. Or, or let's Correct. say 70, 30 split. So yep. the investors make up 70% of the pool, get 70% of the profits. Uh, get 70% of the upside uh, yep. when, when and if it sells. Right. The, the, the sponsor, which is Monell or Vinny, yes. um, gets 30%. Right. And what you would do then is you would give yes, the real estate percentage. agent 
part yeah. of your 30. Yeah, exactly. That's how it works. Okay, so how do you calculate what, how much they get? They get, is that proportionate to how much is raised or what? You know, not really. Actually, SEC doesn't allow for the consultants or helpers or partners to get paid in ratio of the money raised, but it'll be very handsome, very handsome. Usually it's about 30 to 40% of the money raised. Oh, in your that range. 30 to 40% of... Like 500,000. If somebody raises 500, yeah. 30 Choose that example, yeah. of that. Yep, yep. So, so if someone raises, let's say 30% is easier. If they raise 500,000, you know, 30% is going to be 150,000, 65,000, something like that. And, yeah. And then, and then whatever your 30% is worth, uh, they would get the equivalent of 165,000 of equity in your 30%. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. And you know, the good part is I like to ask the affiliates, we call them as partners, affiliates, mm -hmm. and they could ask for money at the acquisition because I get paid so I can share portion of that. We give out cash flow every quarter to the investors. We can pay the affiliates that much money also partners, we could say partners. And then when the equity is uh, sold, property is sold, then the equity gain, we can give them money at that time yeah. too. So, oh. so, so they don't get a commission, say, tit for tat, but they get equity no, in a no. project um, yes. that they didn't have. It's a great way for them to build a passive uh, income yes. and, totally. and, and, and wealth for the future and, um, and that sort of thing. And, uh, and, you know, agents are notorious for not having, uh, re you know, decent retirement accounts, decent – uh, wealth building strategies. There's just not a lot of out there for agents. So this is kind of great in that it, it offers an additional uh, wealth building strategy. I almost think that, you know, having equity in apartment building, providing the apartment building does well and you're with a good operator, um, you know, is better than the cash, you know, because it's number one, you can't spend it, um, <laughs> you know, and n number two, it's, it's for savings. Well, that's pretty much the same as number one, but it's for savings and it just, and it pays you a return and then hopefully it'll pay you, you know, it'll double or triple or something if, if, and when the thing sells in the future. So, um, so just like a house, right. But, uh, right. but without all the, the work and the stress. So true. So true, Pat. If I may say that also, as a syndicator, I've done 26. I'm in the midst of 27th, $50 million raise. I've raised $10 million already. So there is more room for a lot of people to come in, you know, and so forth and become my partners. The exciting part is, if I may say, I do the whole shebang of things. I'm on the loan. I'm managing the assets. I'm finding the property. I'm underwriting it. We are doing the takeover. We are hiring the people to manage it. Everything is done. I do the investor relations, PowerPoints. I do the Zoom meetings. The only thing our, you know, your valued audience, realtors or brokers will need to do is just show up at the quarterly meeting, Zoom meeting, even if they can or not, and just be in touch with me so that we could look at what job they can do in you know, keeping up with the investors they brought in. So investor yeah. relations, I can teach them also a little bit more <laughs> what I do for underwriting, how we look at property, how we look at emerging markets. So they'll be able to actually learn from me also. So it's a double-edged sword, you know, they will yeah, yeah. not no, that's get awesome. paid, but also, yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, so Vinny, what, how would you respond to somebody or how do you respond to somebody today that says, Vinny, you know, I'm not interested in investing uh, in in apartment buildings or anything uh, real estate wise because I think we're at the end of a cycle. I think we're peaking, um, and I think the you know, quite frankly, the market's going to go down. Um, what what what's your response to that? Very good point, Pat. Just to be very very clear with your audience, I did not buy a single property in 2018. I underwrote a lot of them all the expectations of the sellers were way up there, way up there. They always wanted a lot more for the price of the, you know, whatever product they were selling, property. We couldn't find something to really underwrite that well. Now I'm finding because the interest rate has increased, as you know, and there is a little bit upward trend in the cap rate. 
when the upward trend is in the cap rate, the value will go down and there is an adjustment coming. So the only people who will really be able to take care of the advantage of the adjustment will be those people who are going to stay in the market. If you get out of the market and say, let me watch and watch and watch, they will never be able to get the good stuff. So I'm so excited that I have so much money. I just gave my investors $9 million in the last seven, uh, no, uh, yeah, no, I should say three weeks, $9 million. And they are ready to, they're calling me. This is from, 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 uh, from apartments that you had with them and sold. sold. Yeah. I sold, I doubled the money in four years in one. I doubled another one. Well, I that's mean, what, I, that, that's what the thing, you know, we're, we're kind of, you know, you almost look at that and say, okay, well, it's smart to be a seller and dumb to be a buyer. I mean, what, um, so, you, you know, so are you going to different markets? Uh, yeah. Are you, are you sacrificing okay. your standards? What are you doing to deal okay. with that? Yeah. Not sacrificing the standards at all, Pat. As a matter of fact, I'm going to only B, B minus assets now. I've done my share in 12 years of C. Okay, C now explain, explain what that means because, you know, this is a sure. real estate agent podcast. So Yeah, sure. C properties are a little bit more older properties, like in the 70s or 69, built 1969, 1970, 75, 78, Pat, right? And then the B class or B minus will be in the 84, 87. Then we are looking in B and B plus, in the 2003s, sevens, around there. So that's what we are finding. If we can get B-class assets right now in the correcting market, where the more of the millennials and Zen, you know, new, uh, you know, Zen uh, population also is liking to rent more. I think apartments are here to stay for the next 40 years, 50 years. It's just that. We found this seller, which we are under writing right now. He has so much trouble in managing the asset from Los Angeles. And the asset is there in Georgia. So the broker approached us. He's ready to get rid of it. Just get rid of it, you know, because he's losing money. But somebody like us can come in with a value play, bring our management, Monil Management Group, our, you know, my community manager already went there, senior community manager, my lead maintenance in Texas, in Georgia, went there already, took the pictures, looked at the model units, looked at everything. Everything is great. Plenty of people make a decent living selling real estate, but how many manage to make millions to become a millionaire? Imagine how much more profitable your business would be if you had the chance to learn from someone who actually made their millions selling real estate. Rebus University instructors know what it takes to build a highly successful, highly lucrative real estate business because they've done exactly that. These self-made real estate millionaires spent years in the trenches identifying exactly what works in today's markets. And that's exactly what they teach. Right now, we're running a seven day trial on Rebus University's all access package. For just $7, you can get access to every course. Every millionaire real estate instructor, there's over 40 of them, 40 millionaire real estate instructors that Rebus University has to offer. You have access to all of them. To start your seven day free trial for only seven bucks, go to futureofrealestatetraining.com. That's futureofrealestatetraining.com or text trial, T R I A L, to 444 999. That's trial to 444 999. Hey, real estate agents and rock stars. If you're getting value out of the content in this episode, make yeah. sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel. Also, click the little bell icon to be notified about upcoming episodes. Yeah. And I would also love it if you left a comment and shared the most impactful tips and tactics you've learned from the knowledge shared in this episode or even maybe make a suggestion requesting a topic 
of what you'd like to learn in future episodes. I welcome any feedback below. Now, back to the episode. listed this week alone. I'm talking in Florida, in Georgia, in South Carolina, in Kentucky. So people in are selling. Nashville. So the people like you obviously are, are dumping. And do you, but do you think it's like a panic, like a stock market panic where everyone's no. starting to sell? No, no. I only sold two of my assets in Houston. I'm pe- keeping my eight assets there. I'm not going to sell. I'm making $45,000 net net every month on these assets. I'm not going to sell them. No way. I'm going to increase the NOI even more and keep them for another two, three years. I know people are thinking, Vinnie, what will happen if the interest rates go haywire? Economy of the USA will not allow the interest rates to go haywire. It's not going to happen, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if you could say that, but I mean, <laughs> they don't have a choice. What? Okay, so, but, okay, so, so my question is this: um, you, what I think what you're saying is, when you buy these things, you're not getting fixed rate mortgages on them. Okay, we are getting Fannie Mae loans or Freddie Mac loans, ten year fixed or fifteen year fixed back, right? So, so yeah, and so if interest rates go up, four point seven percent, four point seven. Okay. I so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they're fixed. Yeah, they are fixed, right? So, so the interest rates going up wouldn't matter. I don't, I don't understand what why that person asked that question. If you're getting fixed rate mortgages, there we go. You're so right. You're so right. And you know what? This is the right time to lock in a buy right now at low interest rate because as the interest rates go higher to five and a half, six, seven, maybe seven and a half might be the peak. I bought it at seven and a half in uh, uh, San Antonio. Uh, six properties I bought. I sold them all. But you know, the thing is, it's not just the mortgage expense. It's also how you can increase the rent and increase the NOI. Mortgage is just one of the expenses. Yeah, right. Yeah. Providing that the, the rental market continues to go up, then you can right, right. jack the rent up, which is a downside for renters. Right, because yeah. you know, with a mortgage payment, it's fixed for thirty years, hopefully, and um, with a rental, it's you know subject to increase every year. So, well, this has been fascinating, Vinny. You know, I appreciate you coming on and and answering that question and um, yeah. helping with that. Um, I want to end this with a couple of things. First of all, everybody that comes on the show brings a free gift, and what that gift is is an item of utility that our our listeners can use. Sure. Um, what is your free gift that you brought, Benny? You know, I would love to, love to, if anybody just text the word uh, learn, L-E-A-R-N, L-E-A-R-N, learn to 474747. Hmm. I would send them a package, my PowerPoint brochure, which will revolutionize them. I mean, they're thinking, and also this will be a, uh, you know, my gift to them to show to their clients, to show their clients how they can make passive income by partnering with the, you know, with them, with them. And they could come and become my general partner. That'll be the biggest gift I can give them to <laughs> earn two hundred. Well, that's, that's awesome. And, yeah. and, and guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same gift and I'm going to put it in Vinny's show notes Thank you. at, um, at hybendigital.com. Vinny, Chopra th- and the number three. So it's V-I-N-N-E-Y-C-H-O-P-R-A. V-I-N-N-E-Y-C-H-O-P-R-A and the number three. I'm going to put all of Vinny's contact information, his website, his free gift. Um, yeah. Everything will be there um, if you guys want to reach out to him. And um, I'm also going to put links to his um, his university because you're you're also teaching People how to do syndicated apartments on their own right now, right, Vinny? That's right, exactly. You know, I have written, I'm, I've lectured 550 lectures now. They are wow. increasing day by day, and they are on online university for very, very small investment. Very small investment. I have had actually my students, they never get coached by me just through my lectures, and they're crushing it. They are crushing it already. But if they would like, I can do also mastermind coaching. I do, Pat, now every Wednesday 
if anybody would like me to invite them for free just for one or two sessions and see what we do in there they they are very welcome also very small investment or if they want the personal coaching i'm doing that also right now you know personal well, you've coaching. done you've done 27 of them so you've certainly earned your job <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so guys, I'm going to put all those links in, in the show notes as well. That's hybendigital.com backslash Vinny Chopra 3. Um, and of course, you know, you can also get the free gift at the Agent Success Toolbox, which can be found at hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or texting the word toolbox to 444-999. Uh, Vinny, this has been brilliant, my friend. Um, I look forward to seeing you at the uh, next uh, GoBundance event. Yes. Thank and, you, Brad. Thank and, you so much. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and I hope we meet face to face uh, in the near future. Yes. yes, looking forward to it. Thank you, Pat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to Real Estate Rockstars. If this free content is giving you a ton of value, I want to ask a small favor in return. I need you to pull out your pointing finger and hit the subscribe button. Yes, hit subscribe, please. The more subscribers that we get on Real Estate Rockstars, the better guests are attracted to the shows. We'll get more guests from the top companies, from the top teams, and even more celebrity guests like Robert Kiyosaki and Barbara Corcoran. Also, if you're not a member of our free Facebook group, Go to Real Estate Rockstars Radio right on Facebook and join the conversation. I'm on there myself on FaceTime Lives, and we have a lot of communications and questions about the show, and I'd love to see you there. And it's free. People ask me all the time, where am I on social media? I'm real easy to find. Just type in my name. My IG is I am Pat Hyben. It is blowing up on Instagram, adding tons of subscribers. And I'm on there probably twice a day. So definitely follow me on Instagram as well as everywhere else. Thanks again for listening and keep rocking.